This is a how-to video for Sector 9 boards. This is how to change the wheels and also how to clean the bearings. John, my brother, will be doing all the cleaning today. So take it away, John. Okay, what you're gonna need is socket wrench, whatever fits the nut. That's and the nut. That is the nut, thank you. You're also gonna need something that can pry out the bearing, preferably just, you know, just a little rounded. Yeah. Or a crochet needle. Crochet needle will work. Um, I'm going to start off here. Also going to need a rag to clean the nuts and bearings. WD-40, Tri-Flow. Tri-Flow is my personal favorite. Pretty good brand. Also, if you're going to be cleaning it on the carpet, use a towel, folks. You're also going to need a couple Q-tips. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to start off, just go ahead, take off the nut. Going to want to place them somewhere you can actually see them. Going to want to washer, take off the wheel, and watch out for the washer that is on bottom. Note that there are two washers. One may get stuck to the bottom of the wheel, or right here. Yes. You're going to clean those separately. Also, you want to clean the stem. Yes. Now, you're going to take your hooked tool right here. You're just going to put it right in there on the lip of the on the lip of the bearing, and you're just going to sort of try and pry. Now, note that sometimes you not might need to put some tri or WD-40 like I need to do right now on on the inside of the bearings maybe need to spin it around some just to get in there on the inside of course and um go ahead and pat that off real quick and go ahead and pry it out Just go around, be kind of careful, but it does take quite a bit to break these bearings, so don't worry about putting a s sufficient force into it, and there it goes. And then also, you're going to want to try and get something like a socket wrench like we have here, and you're just going to push it inside the wheel, give it a nice firm push, try and be gentle if you can, and just push it out the other side to get that other bearing out. You're going to take the bearing on the towel that you have used. Make sure that you can get this towel dirty, maybe just a bad rag and just gonna rub the sides off to get it sorta of clean. It doesn't have to be perfect. And do that with both pairings. Notice that these are ball bearings. So I'm on both sides. Now you're gonna take your Q tip. You're gonna Sort of just clean out the inside there. Try and give it a nice little rub on the inside. Go around the rim inside the little crevice. Just go around. Try and get all the grease and muck out of there. I'll do that with the other side of the Q-tip now. You can usually use one side of the Q-tip for one whole bearing. There you have that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it on the rag. Just spray a little tri flower whatever you use on both sides there. I'm going to take it, give it a few spins just to get the lubricant worked in there. And you're going to take it 
in a rag, just sort of try and pat it off, roll it around in the rag, do that with both. If you leave them too wet, it's going to attract dust, dirt, you don't want that. Now what are you going to do? So you're going to come over this part right here. Just going to take a rag, clean that off, make sure you get it. Just make sure you get it real clean. Now you're going to take the same rag, different rag, doesn't matter. Take it, put it inside the wheel, maybe just on the rim of that first part too. Make sure you get it nice and clean in there because you don't want all that grime and muck in there. It's real nasty. Once again, you, you're going to want to use a rag that you can throw out because this will not come out of whatever you are using. Now you're going to take these three parts right here, two washers, one nut, and you're going to just make sure you give those a nice clean down. I'm going to try and just rub it around in the rag, hopefully get all the dirt and mess off there. These usually don't take too much effort. Yes. Now you're just going to put the first washer on. After it's clean. After it's clean, of course. Go ahead and, actually, go ahead and put this in here. You're going to just give it a nice little starting push in there. And then use a shirt or rag or something and just push in push it in as you can see nice and firm to where it's about right there and then you're going to want to take the other ball bearing put it in the other side do the same it may not be straight so you're going to have to you're going to maybe have to push it in straight and there you go now you're going to use this to push the bearing in all or something the way, like it something like it to push the bearing in all the way put a rag sort of bundle it up just a little to protect put, it put it over the bearing put that on in and just sort of give it a nice tap with the hammer turn it over do the same be sure to only use sufficient force to get it down in there. You don't want to be beating on it. You'll mess it up. Yes. And that's not our fault, so. Go ahead and put the wheel on. Make sure you put the clean the other washer before putting it on. You want to make sure you get on the inside and around the rim. So, and put that on there. Now, you can use just a dirty, an already dirty Q tip, you know, place it inside the nut and just sort of spin it around the edges. Make sure you get all the grime out from and in there. Maybe make sure that there's no cotton left in there. Go ahead, put it in the rag and spin it about just get a nice a nice clean off there and almost done you wanna take it put it on there we go now you don't wanna put it on too tight you wanna make sure that there's enough rooms that it'll spin real good but you want to have just the least amount of wiggle you can have with it not to be rubbing so as you can hear there's a tiny bit of wiggle maybe I can get that no it's too tight just as I said least amount of wiggle that you can manage sometimes you'll have to play with it 
That's what she said. And there you go.